Jules has always been the light of everyone's life. He's always surprised us in the best possible ways, including how he handled his treatment. He was diagnosed with Langerhans cell histiocytosis at 17 months old. It's a rare cancer immune disorder. The first protocol that they normally treat with didn't work. As soon as he went on maintenance, his tumor grew and he also got another new tumor. Then he moved to the second protocol and he got a new tumor and the mastoid tumor wasn't going away. You know, they say like, oh, you're so strong for doing this. And I'm like, you know, I'm not strong. Like I wasn't strong at all. Like I just every day looked at my son and said like, you know, today he's okay. And like, that's all, that's all I can have. So at that point we had to fly out to Houston and start seeing uh, the specialist regularly. He put him on this very strong chemo for 15 months and it worked. All of his tumors shrunk. He still has bone loss in his skull. But, you know, if you see him, you wouldn't know any differently. Like, he is the most amazing kid. I was just so excited to see them enjoy it and like to see their reaction when they found out what it was. When Jules pulled up to the learning experience at Hobo again, I mean, our hearts just went on fire. Seeing him come out with a sparkle in his eye, just excited about his wish, was just, it was fantastic to know that we helped him through this hard time. Over the past few years, the learning experience has raised over $2 million for Make-A-Wish. And this last year in 2021, we actually raised half a million dollars during that period. So the partnership has been fantastic. Between the Make-A-Wish team and the learning experience team, we were able to focus on giving back to Jules and helping him see that the impossible could become possible. We really feel like we've been able to make a difference in the lives of the children that are getting granted these wishes and we are so grateful to be part of that experience. As we always say, we don't do wishes by ourselves. We can't do wishes by ourselves. We invite the community, we engage with the community and friends to help us make wishes happen. Uh, in fact, our mission statement, together we create life-changing wishes for children with critical illnesses. And today, we're together with our friends from the Learning Experience who support us throughout the year. We're so grateful to them and all the centers here in New Jersey, as well as Liberty Science Center. We're here at Liberty Science Center for Jules's wish to meet Sue, the largest replica T-Rex that exists anywhere. And um, we're excited to see Jules' reaction. It was incredible to see the amount of people that were in that room welcoming Jules, walking down the red carpet like a little, you know, superstar. Here at the Science Center, we are huge dinosaur fans ourselves. We've just been so excited to have Jules come here and spend an evening with us. He is going to meet some of our animals. He's gonna get a chance to climb up on our infinity climber. He's going to meet Sue the T-Rex, which is the most complete T-Rex fossil that's ever been found. Not only is he gonna meet this replica of the T-Rex skeleton, he's actually gonna to get to have dinner with her. And then he's gonna to top the whole thing off by taking a trip through our planetarium all the way back to the time of the dinosaurs. It's gonna blow his mind, he's gonna love it. A superstar welcome in Jersey City tonight for a young boy who has shown great courage fighting a life-threatening illness. Jules and his family were welcomed to the museum tonight for a special after-hours dinosaur experience. All the people that we interacted with throughout the night were just so accommodating and so, you know, happy to be there and happy to be a part of the wish. And it was so obvious the fact that, like, they shut the place down for us. Our names were all over everything. Like, it, it was, like, down to every single detail. It floors me because I know now how much it means to the families that are going through situations like this. Like, it's, it's life-changing. It's... It's life-changing for the kid and, you know, depending on where they are in treatment, it could 
change the course of their treatment. It could change their morale. Like it could change the family's whole morale. Like for us, it was like a celebration. After two years, the chances of LCH coming back is like almost nothing. So it was so nice that we were able to have it two weeks before the second anniversary of finishing chemo. And I want to thank the learning experience for everything that we've gotten, um, but also for continuing this mission. All I want to do is give back um, what you have given us, um, which was this incredible life-changing experience, and um, I know he's going to remember it for the rest of his life.